Following a loss at Syracuse, Army returned home to play the first night game ever at Mikey Stadium. In front of a national TV audience, Air Force was the initial hurdle in returning the Commander-in-Chief's trophy to West Point. Defensive end Kurt Gutierrez took the first step, putting two points on the board with a safety. But if this Saturday night belonged to anyone, it was junior place kicker Craig Stopa, on the road to becoming Army's all-time field goal kicker and ECAC Offensive Player of the Week. The toe of Stopa wasn't Army's only weapon. There was also the razzle-dazzle of the wishbone. Scott Spellman's 41-yard dash surprised the Air Force, as the cadets showed not only could they run the wishbone, but they could stop it as well. Army's barbed wire defense totally stymied the bowl-bound Falcons option game. And senior linebacker Jim Gentilly, number 55, was honored as ECAC Defensive Player of the Week. A linebacker playing against the wishbone has a hard time, you know, because they do have the backs cutting you. And it's, it's hard to make a lot of tackles, but I felt I did well, and I felt John Roney, the other linebacker, did really well. And uh, it was a great game to win, and it kept on the, the winning tradition here at West Point. A leaping interception spoiled Air Force's final effort. And a record-setting five field goals by Craig Stopa proved the difference. To set a record is just a great thrill. It's just participating and playing and representing Army on the football field with the great tradition that it has fills you with a great sense of pride. And then to go above that and actually set some records, it's just an indescribable thrill.